Welcome back to another video. And today is going to be one showing a bit more of this DOF Reality uh, M2 motion platform. I've had a couple of people ask me to demonstrate how responsive it is. So the time it takes for the, the platform to move after what happens you know, on the screen in front of you occurs. So how quickly it responds when you turn left to right and how quickly it responds when you brake or accelerate. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to set the camera up both behind the chair, which isn't going to be too easy to do because I don't have that much room back there, but I'll try and get it behind well enough so you can see the chair and how it moves left to right. And then after that, I'm going to put the camera parallel with me just over there so that you can see how the seat moves forwards and backwards under acceleration and braking. Um, and what I'll do is find a nice sort of straight stretch of road in, in Dirt Rally, uh, which is what I mostly play. And I'll just literally, you know, sway from left to right and, and illustrate it. And I'll accelerate and I'll brake and let off and accelerate and, you know, a few times so you can see exactly what the platform's doing uh, whilst they do it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's that's it for the introduction. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'll, um, I'll flick the camera around to, to behind us now and we'll get started. Right, we're here in Dirt Rally. Uh, the camera's set up behind me so you can see what the seat's going to do. Uh, I've got the sensitivity for the motion reasonably high, just to kind of, because if where, where I'd have it normally, you perhaps wouldn't see huge amounts of movement. So um, I've turned it up a little bit, uh, not to the maximum, but up just enough, hopefully, so that you can see how responsive this is as I'm swaying, you know, left to right. So at low speed, 200. There's only a very gentle amount of movement. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see that. I can feel it, but it's not huge. And then, of course, the faster you go, the more pronounced that's going to be because the G-forces that it's trying to replicate are going to be strong. So let's just get around this air in here. 120. Try and find a straight this road where I can just literally sway left to right like this. Again, we're at low speed, so the movement's quite minimal. Get some speed up. Here we go. And then see here, it's moving quite a bit more left to right as we do that. Again, we go in the hairpin. All the way over to the right. One there on the right, throws me all the way to the left. I guess it's all the right. right. Again, it's just more left to right swaying for you here. But yeah, you get the idea. It, you know, it moves quite a bit. The movement's relatively smooth, as smooth as it can be for the way these uh, these gearboxes are. But yeah, there we go. So that will do for the, the left to right Opens um, demonstration. 50. What I'll do now is stop this, reposition the camera over there so it can see me from the side, and, um, and I'll demonstrate the back and forward movement under acceleration and braking. So, see you in a sec. Right, so we're set up with the camera to the side of me now. Uh, I think I've pressed record. We'll soon find out if I haven't. I'll be talking to nobody. Um, so now you'll be able to see the forward and backward movement under acceleration and braking. So let's just continue um, wherever the hell I am. And uh, again, I've turned the sensitivity up quite a bit, so it will be exaggerated. But as you can see there, pedal down, seat back. Pedal down, seat back. Down, so, and of course, as soon as I let off like this, seat so comes forward, brake, and it goes even further forward still. So off, on, off, on, off, brake, and then back to center. So yeah, it moves. It moves quite a bit, and I'd say it's pretty responsive. Um, you know, pedal down, we go straight back. Pedal down, straight back, down, straight back, brake, and go forwards. This, you know, down, down, 
that's, that's pretty responsive, I'd say. Um, hopefully it looks that way on the camera as well. What I'll actually do at some point is a video of me doing a, a full lap on quite an aggressive bumpy track with lots of jumps, then you'll really get to appreciate what's going on. Yeah, this is a relatively smooth uh, track here in Germany. But, you know, this was just to demonstrate the responsiveness, which is what people were asking for. So, you know, it throws you back and forward and, you know, it's, it's what you want. It makes, you know, it feels, it feels good. You really, you really get that feeling of acceleration, you know, when you put your boot down and, uh, and deceleration when you brake. But, um, but yeah, the question was how responsive is it? I would say pretty, pretty fucking responsive. Um, and hopefully you can see that in this video, uh, both from behind and from the side. So that wraps it up for today. I was going to reposition the camera here and, and do a, an outro from there, but what's the point? You can see me from where I am now. So um, thanks for watching as always. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe. You know the score, it all helps. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.